Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try a meal recommended by Ryan. This is the Jimmy Dean croissant egg with red peppers, onions, and pepper jack cheese sandwiches. There are four of them in the box, and that looks pretty good to me. They are 290 calories each for one sandwich, and there's the other information for it. So let's see, how do you microwave these? Um, I have, their um, they're frozen. Normally I would refrigerate them, but frozen is a little easier to keep. Um, the rest of these I'll probably just stick in the refrigerator doing the frozen. I haven't noticed a huge difference between the two. It takes a little quicker, it's a little quicker to cook them, but um, it's a little bit easier to cook them uh, refrigerated. Um, the frozen takes a little longer, and it takes a little more effort. You can see we have to defrost it for a minute and a half, and then we have to do, um, cook the sandwich on high for 50 to 55 seconds. So, uh, so you have to do this defrost time, whereas if you don't, you just put the micro, you just put the microwave for 60 to 65 seconds and done. So, um, so we'll defrost first and then um, microwave it and see what they look like. If I thought about it ahead of time, I would I would have stuck them in the refrigerator. They're in a, uh, they're like perforated plastic container. This is what they look like. I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and use both hands. I'll pull out both of them. Um, but I'm gonna get this in the microwave and get it going, and uh, I'll be back. One thing I didn't read closely on there, I mean, it's on there, I showed it, but I didn't actually say it. Um, you're gonna remove it from the plastic and wrap it in a paper towel before you stick it in the microwave. So uh, this will actually be wrapped up in the, in the paper towel. And there's a little bit better look of it. You can see it's a pretty good size uh, piece of egg and cheese on there. So, I'll be back. Hey, this is it straight out of the microwave. All I did was literally unfold this. And that's how it is. Um, and I have this problem with these sandwiches quite often. Um, the cheese starts getting melted and they actually literally slide off. Um, I've ran into these with another one, but then they, they cool off enough to where they, um, they stick. So it's literally stuck to the paper towel. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna work with this and get it back on there because it's horrible. And you lose a lot of your cheese. So maybe if, uh, Maybe from thawed and I, I cook it less, maybe that would help. So I'm gonna get this straightened out and let it cool off a little bit and I'll be back to let you know what it tastes like. Okay, I got it unstuck. And look look how much you're wasting there. There's a lot of bread there. There's some cheese missing there. And you really, once it, it all is said and done, you lose a lot of your cheese. There's not a lot of cheese left. But um, but whatever, you know, that's, you just gotta, that's what you gotta put up with. So let me give it a try. A little hot. Um, you can really taste those peppers in there, and it's really good. the uh, The croissant's good and tender. You can see it's really soft. It's not. It's not hard. Um, it's chewy like a croissant could be should be. Um, it's got a little bit of a, a crispiness, probably from the cheese that's all gotten um, cooked and crusty. But um, yeah, overall, it's it's pretty good. I think I like the ones with uh, the Jimmy Dean delights that have the um, the Canadian bacon, the, the ham on them. Um, I think I like those. Those are like my favorite ones. Um, these are really good though. The croissant is really good and tender, like I said, and it really has a good flavor. Um, I like these a lot. I would definitely eat these again. I think I like a little meat on them though, personally. So um, I'll give these a three. It's not something I would buy all the time, but it's definitely not bad. If you like a uh, an egg with some, a little bit of pepper onion like flavor to it, um, definitely try these out. I, I think you'll really like them. So I uh, hope that helps and thanks for watching.